Someone, oh, someone said hi. <laughs> I'm doing good, someone. I hope you're well also. It's one of the cool things, you know. We need to, we need to be as healthy-minded and in our heart as we possibly can. You're welcome. Hi, Tyler. Nice to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Let me see. I better make those bigger so it's easy for me to read. Uh, paper is only tasty if you have to eat it. Hi, Gizmo. Welcome to the show. Hi, E. Uh, I am, you guys, uh, I hope you can share me with others and put up all these likes because I have the, um, I have the prize wheel all set up to see who is going to win uh, this A-10. Yes, Tyler, I do. Nice of you to come back to the show. Uh, CT, gosh darn it, I have a world to choose from. I don't know where you're going. I custom tacos. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Hi, Goblin. How are you doing? Uh, thank you, someone. And uh, somebody in the paper army is going to win this today. All right. And as soon as we get a few more people in the show, I will go ahead and uh, show you all uh, the prize wheel. Welcome back. Howdy, CJ. The other... Berlin? Oh, that's fantastic, CT. How far is Berlin away from where you are now, if you don't mind? Dutch military guy, welcome. Hi, Israeli. How are you doing? Iso, nice to see you. Oh, thank you, Tim. Very much. I appreciate that. Hi, sweetheart. That's my lovely wife, you guys. Honey bunny. <laughs> I, I, well, I have to hope everybody wins, but I can't. Someone is going to win, E, but I'm glad you hope you do. Howdy, Jack. Ethan, nice to see you. Hello, NT. Bert? Bert's here? Hey, Bert, do you need an invite into the room? Uh, I'll send one to you so that you can get in the computer because um, I need you over here, too. And so anyway, all right, Bert, invite sent. Sarah's in. Hi, Luke. Hi, Lewis. Welcome to the show, YouTubers. Nice to see you. And being simulcast on two different channels is really difficult to do. <laughs> I found that out. Hi, R-I-M-E Remos? Remos? <laughs> Hi, Susan. Welcome to the show. Hi, Alfie. Welcome, grandson, to the show. I'm gay? No, you're gay. Okay. Well, you're gay. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Hi, Jelly Bean. Thank you very much. Oh, United Kingdom? Welcome to the show. I'm in America, over here in Washington State. And so, anyway, um, it. <laughs> thank you for putting up all the likes and for all the people you share me with. You And I salute the Paper Army. Thank you for hosting me in your homes and phones and stuff. Because if it wasn't for you, I, I wouldn't have this show. And that goes for you too, YouTubers. Thank you very much for coming here and enjoying my videos and learning how to make this amazing paper craft. Hi, Jeremy. Nice to see you. Hi, dog. Romania? Nice. Norway? Wow. Absolutely, everyone. Thank you for likes and shares. Because um, if we can continue to go viral the way we are, maybe one of these days, one of these networks will actually pick the phone show up and play it worldwide. I know, Brody. Uh, I'm, just a, I'm just a crafty old garden gnome that knows how to build things and teach you how to make toys for yourself. Oh, CT, I understand. The Netherlands. Nice. Howdy, Bert. Hey, buddy. Hi, Pepper Army. Mega Polly, I don't know how to help that. Maybe you and Bert need to get together and figure something out. What's up, Mega Polly? Hang on. I got to get back to the chat. Um, and, and Honey Bunny may have helped him find the feed. Um. Not 100% paper, okay? 
this tip is a straight pin that I pushed in here to make it look like a burp gun. And the missiles on here are paper clips that I cut down and fit to make the missiles for this. And so it is not 100% paper, but the chassis, the wings, the turbines, and the tail section are 100% paper. Now, the connectors that I made on these <coughs> so that these things won't fall apart are paper clips inside the chassis or inside the wing sections so that the turbines and the wings won't come off. So, most of it, yes, is, is paper. I would say uh, probably more than 90%, 95% of it. Uh, the stand is also a straightened out paper clip. Uh-oh. My live access was removed. Why? Hate speech and hateful behavior. You didn't say anything. How in the heck could that be hate speech? There wasn't anything you said. Oh, come on. Don't start this now. Yeah. What the fuck? There wasn't anything you said. You weren't talking any hate or anything. Nobody in the chat was even talking anything. Look, I'm getting all these texts. Yeah, don't know what happened. Tell him it says for hate speech. Where? You didn't even freaking say anything. Oh. My God, we we're only two minutes into it. Don't start this shit again. Oh, my God. Wow. Was anything hateful at all? Wow. There was not one single hate word at all mentioning. Yes, the TikTok stuff. live went out because they were saying I gave hate speech. I know, Sarah, I don't understand. Yes, Luke, I've been banned uh, by TikTok for hate speech. We were just all saying hi to each other. It wasn't even nine minutes. CJ says he thinks it was high gay thing. We don't know. We yeah, CJ, that's possible. I don't know. Um, that's insane. That's stupid. Really, that's ridiculous. You son of a bitch, TikTok. Wow. And we were viral. We have 200 people in there when I look. Yeah. And it's, it's already 100 diamonds were sent up. That's what you said was high gay thing. And that's exactly what his title was, his name was. You didn't even say anything after it. You said, oh, I hate high gay thing. All right. Contact. TikTok banned me for answering by the guy's name, gay thing. And so, gay thing, you need to change your name or I will have to take you out of the live. I can't have this happen. There's too many people worldwide that rely on me to be there to make them have a better day. Or not to make them have a better day, but to give them a better day. And so, we can't have this. If everybody will send TikTok messages and tell them, review it, please. That is something that um, we can't allow TikTok to continue to do. The chat bots have to be brought up to speed. So anyway, I am sorry, everyone. But I have been banned, and until we get that reversal, I need your help to do that. So thank you very much, and I will see you soon, I hope.
Oh, fucking shit. Oh, sorry about cussing, you guys. It, it just breaks my heart. Oh, reading your first comic ever? Oh, that's excellent news. Howdy, Luke. Uh, it'll just be uh, for amount of time, uh, seven days. But that is that is really bad. That is extremely bad. Hi, Eddie. Welcome. What happened? We don't know. I got banned for hate speech. CJ seems to think it was the gay thing that was said, the guy's name. And so I just uh, put out a TikTok video about it, explaining that I absolutely cannot let anything go like that. Hi, Mega Polly. Yeah, I got banned for hate speech. CJ thinks it was the gay thing that was said. And that's entirely possible. And so I sent in a, an appeal to TikTok, and I hope that it will be heard. Even Psycho thinks it's the same thing. Yeah. And so anyway, well, it looks like YouTube <laughs> is where we're going to be today. So if we can uh, share this with other YouTubers and work on getting this darn thing up. Oh, yeah, Mega Polly. Uh, that is possibly true. I know, Liam. It absolutely is. Oh, that's fantastic news. Um, Verstappen. Well, that's fantastic. That is just, that is crazy cool. Well, Jack, what happened was I got banned for hate speech because the guy's name had gay in it. And uh, so... Either they they change their name or we just ban anybody that comes in with a gay name. Because when I said it, they banned me. And um, I was just answering because of the name. It never even crossed my mind that the chat bot was going to pull me for that. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, Tyler. The um, chat bots, because when I answered that gay guy, um, they banned me for saying that gay guy. And so what I'm going to have to do from now on is if anybody that comes in with any derogatory name is just ban them. Because I cannot afford to have this happen. And TikTok's algorithm or their chat bots that listen to this stuff are wrong for what they did. They screwed it all up. Well, thank you, um, uh, Morgan, uh, very much. T Tyler, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. But if you would do uh, dollar sign the paper engineer on Cash App or go to my PayPal account on my TikTok main page, um, then you can, and I will make sure when it flashes across my screen to write it down so I won't lose that. Uh, the term gay is acceptable, but how the guy put it in his name is not acceptable. It can't, Jack. I have to do the prize wheel when everybody is here so that they can screenshot it. And, um, uh, and that, because it, then, because if I just spin the wheel now and come up with winner, uh, there's too many negative people on that will say that I just rigged it and I don't want that to ever happen. So I have to hold the prize wheel until I get off this ban to do it. And so I'm going to have to just uh, be on uh, YouTube here for the duration until that's all worked out. I'm banned from lives only until this is resolved. Oh, it's Jelly Bean? <laughs> oh, well, that's cool, Liam.
I know, Eddie. Yeah, it, it really is. It's just been stunning. I know, Jack. And it's one of those kind of things, well, it's a good thing I have YouTube. There are a lot of TikTokers that know about this site. And so if you guys can go over to TikTok and let them all know that I'm on YouTube and that they're welcome to come over here and visit. And so, uh, but I have to hold the wheel until I get off this ban. Oh, uh, Eddie told you about something, Bert? I hope they do, CJ. I hope they do the right thing. Yeah, Tyler, I agree. It's one of those kind of things that we just have to work around their stupidity. Uh, unfortunately, intelligent people have troubles working around stupidity because it's stupid. Nah. But, oh man. Yes, Poster, I will try to remember just to call you Poster. I think I do already. Period. This ban, TikTok needs to know that they messed up. Okay, hopefully I can answer some of these that might, might help as well. Ah, uh, I understand, paper engineer. <laughs> okay, Bert. Thank you, CJ, very much. No, we thought about that too, using the uh, Dagwood engineer for the live part of it. We just don't have the people there. We have sandwich people on. Dagwood Engineer, we don't have people on Dagwood Engineer. Yes, and Eddie and, and you all, uh, 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 Tyler, if you want me to build you something, it's a $50 an hour fee for me to build you a custom piece. Uh, the situation is, there are some custom pieces I won't touch. Okay, I'm not going to build castles. I'm not going to build uh, the Twin Towers. I'm not going to build the Titanic. Those kind of things take massive amounts of hours. I have the paper. I have tons of paper. I would never run out. But the thing is, it's a time uh, crunch. I can't build those kind of things. You're looking at 400 to 800 hours to build something like that. I don't have that time. Yes, Tyler, absolutely. Hi, Sarah. Did, Welcome back. Did, I got banned from did, TikTok. What, sweetie? Is everybody aware of how they report an issue to TikTok? Because you have to go through the site. There's no emails or phone numbers or anything like that that you can use. You have to go through the site itself. Um, just give me a second, and I'll actually tell everybody exactly where they have to go to to actually file a report about what happened. Okay, so when you're on your home page, you'll see three lines up in the top right hand corner. You tap that and okay, just one second here. Just want to make sure. Yeah. You tap that and then you go under settings and privacy. You tap settings and privacy. You scroll down until you see report a problem. Okay, so 
you tap that and then you'll they'll just take you through a process they'll give you a bunch of topics you can choose from but just choose any topic and then it'll ask you um, after it gives you a bunch of information if the information they gave you resolve the topic, you tap no, and then it will allow you to report a problem. And then you just uh, explain that you're reporting an issue about a channel that you watch that was banned unjustly. And uh, send it off. Now, I don't know if, if it'll make any difference because I've actually placed uh, three different reports in the past week, all of which are still open, and I haven't heard back from either one. So um, TikTok doesn't really seem to care much about uh, people that have complaints. Okay, so, Arthur? Um, Arthur, <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> doggone it. <laughs> and it depends on what you want me to build, but the um, fifty dollars an hour stands as a as my going rate to build anything, and uh, we'll have to discuss on what I would build for you and what size it needs to be. Um, and Eddie. Uh, the windows on a building. All right. One of the things that I um, collected was different pieces of um, reasonably stiff plastic, clear plastic. It comes on, uh, you know, um, like your big screen, a TV. There's a, a film on it that you have to peel off. Those films make extremely good uh, windows. Uh, if you're going to build a building that has windows in it, what you have to do is you have to cut out individual frames, all right? The frame of the of the window, whether it's a tall, skinny one or it's a big square one, it doesn't matter what it is. You have to cut the frame out. Then when you cut your piece of plastic that goes into the window itself, what you have to do is you have to have two window frames exactly the same size because now once you get the, the plastic on, you have to punch little holes with this dental tool. You have to punch little holes in the plastic and you have to push it down into uh, the window frame. Okay, so what happens is then when you glue your plastic onto the window frame, the glue will come through those little holes in the plastic window. Then when you glue your second frame piece onto the back of that, it makes it so your your plastic glass piece stays in the window. Hi, Earthly. Nice to see you. Welcome, everyone, to my phone show. I got banned from TikTok for saying the guy's name. And I've somebody uh, mentioned to me that there's people now, uh, Troll Army is putting names out so that when you say them, you get banned. So my suggestion is, Bert, you need to let all the moderators know that they, if they see anybody's name that has gay in it, that they are to be banned immediately. Hon, what is your, what is your uh, TikTok handle? Is it the paper engineer or the real paper engineer? It's the real paper engineer. Okay. Earth Lee. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it happened so quick that we didn't even get a chance to do anything. Yep. Hi, Julie. Uh, well, Julie, what I do is I uh, teach people here how to take recycled paper from their kitchen. Girl's not positive. And, um... This is, this is what I've been using. I've been doing this since 2010. All right. All of this stuff 
are free building materials. You eat the food, you get the building materials for free. All right, you're going to need some Elmer's glue. If you're in Europe, any pay, um, uh, PVA glue or any school glue works because it's made for glue and paper and it's, it's safe. All right, this is non-toxic, water-based, food-grade glue. And so um, it's one of those kind of things that's very safe glue. And you need acrylic paint. Um, that, and that works also. Yeah, I know, Earthly. Uh, it, it's just, yep. So we're setting down new rules. Anybody that comes in with any kind of a name that is derogatory, they're to be banned. Because they're, they're the troll army. And uh, they weren't making any headway with the paper army. They were getting beat. And so they found a new way to do it. Okay, well, guess what? We adapt extremely quick. This ban uh, hopefully won't last long. And, um, ooh. That's the one thing about TikTok that really, really grinds me down. But anyway... I am the paper engineer. I started this hobby in 2010. This was my first piece. And you can basically build anything you want out of recycled paper. It, it doesn't matter what it is. Well, thank you, Eddie. It, you, it's absolutely amazing. It's, it's a cheap hobby. But whatever you do, Make the micro machines and get good at making micro machines before you step up to something like this. You make a mistake here, it's a micro mistake. Very easy to fix. Make a mistake on something like this, not so easy to fix. And so anyway, uh, and that's what I teach. Uh, we're going to be working on getting all of my tutorial videos on YouTube um, put into one location so that everyone can uh, see that. I uh, know, um, uh, Tyler, I probably will not do a Discord server. I have enough problem trying to learn all the stuff that I've got to learn now uh, because I've only been learning this technology in the last three years and I am severely behind the curve on that. <laughs> well, um, the nice thing is, Eddie, that I can help you with a lot of the difficulty on doing this. It is one of those kind of things that um, absolutely is um, surmountable. You can get over that hill. And once you learn how to do this, you can make anything you want. Wow, um, that is a very, that is really uh, very cool. It is possible. Burst up in. I am working on another project. It's called the Emerald Fleet, and I have uh, worked with friends back from 1994 on it. I have drawings. I have a storyline. I wanted to do games. Um, toys and uh, a movie of it and it requires new stuff and I have all that I have a record book that is uh, that thick of, of stuff that I can use and so it is possible with the support of people worldwide and hopefully we get my TikTok page back tomorrow anyway it is one of those kind of things that, um, hmm, it just takes a lot of money, which I don't have yet, but we are working on it. And so it's one of those kind of things that um, I just keep aiming for the future and aiming out there. Sometime, I believe it's going to work. Yeah, I know, Eddie. Uh, it makes us extremely disappointed. But that's okay. They got me. And so guess what? The, the, the troll army is not going to get any more. If they come on with a KKK 
anything or gay anything or LGBTQRSTUV, banned. They're just banned. I am not going to put up with this again. It's one of those kind of things that, uh, it, wow. Um, so, we just continue to move forward, you guys. The paper army is unstoppable. Yeah, they do, Luke. But the thing is, we're smarter than those trolls, you guys. And our combined knowledge will beat them every time. We just have to, you know, things like this is going to happen once in a while. And so, anyway. I just... What, sweetie? I just placed a report. Oh, is that what came across my screen? Yeah, I just sent you the report I, I sent. I can't, I... I... I didn't make it as nasty as what I should have because I can't think of anything nasty enough to say. Right. Uh, Tyler, we have a site. Um, Rich built us a site, and it's down right now. We're trying to get it back up. But it it has all that. It's our own server and everything. And so um, we are going to be aiming that direction here very soon. And so it is called, what? what is the name of it? The Paper Engineer dot live and the Paper Army dot ML. Yeah. And those two pages are custom made just for us. And I'm thinking this TikTok thing is beginning to really get to me. And so it might be such a thing that we have to start aiming everything there. There's a chat room. There's a picture room. There's all kinds of stuff we can do. And so uh, that's one thing, Bert, that we're going to need to start working on is uh, getting that Paper Army ML page working in the paperarmy.live. Hi, Carlos. Welcome to the phone show. Thank you very much, Carlos. Welcome. I build paper toys from recycled paper out of my kitchen, and I teach you how to do it, too. Because uh, once you learn how to make your own toys, you'll never run out of toys. <laughs> and the cool thing about that is this. This hobby is almost free. Okay? It takes some Elmer's glue. Or any school glue. And uh, acrylic paint. And product right out of your kitchen. Okay? Okay? So your building materials don't cost you a thing. It's not like you have to go to the hobby store and buy stuff to do it. Okay, what am I doing? Alrighty. Huh. Uh, yes, uh, Tyler, I do. What, sweetheart? Did you place the... Did you place an appeal? Yes, I did. Okay, I'll go in after and, and have a look at that. Uh, yes, I do. And my Star Wars stuff, and I'll show the Falcon in a minute. My Star Wars stuff, some of them are just drawings. This was a drawing in, the, in one of the um, encyclopedias that was put out early uh, in, like, I think 1986 or something. But it was just a drawing of a TIE crawler. And so I made it at Darth Vader's advanced TIE crawler. And uh, anyway, and I'm working on General Grievous. Okay, uh, this is this is very hard build. Very, 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 very hard build. Um, I thought C-3PO was hard when I built C-3PO. No, <laughs> no, this one is insane tough. And, um, but yes, I have... Uh, I have a lot of Star Wars. It, it's my favorite movie franchise. And so I do more Star Wars than anything else. But the thing is, I was in the Gray Bar Motel. Oh, I don't have to say that here. I was in prison for 20 years. Okay, you guys. And I made all the Star Wars stuff 
when I was in the joint. And so all of this stuff can't be duplicated in any possible way. If you lasered this and made it out of paper somehow, you can't duplicate it because you didn't make it in the joint. And so, anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're all made out of recycled paper. It's hollow. I build a uh, chassis, a superstructure, and then I sheet it, put on the armor, and all the detail work. You bet, Eddie. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing that. Um, well, at unknown built uh i built a lot of micro machines that i played in the joint uh this was all star wars stuff that we played in the rpg star wars rpg game and so um you know uh, just amazing stuff and i suggest make the micro machines all right because if you make a mistake on a micro machine it's a very small mistake and it's easy to fix but if you make a mistake on one of these big ones like this falcon it's really hard to fix those and I know because I made a mistake on this Falcon uh, twice. <laughs> and so anyway, that's that's one of those things that it, you just do. And so um, uh, here, this shows you a little bit about it. All right, I'm working on this A-10. That is the superstructure, is all of this ribbing that goes in behind the sheeting on the chassis part. The white center line, that is the chassis. And then you just, you build all the exterior parts of it, and then you uh, put the sheeting on, put the armor on, and do the final detail work. Uh, yeah, Tyler, it's okay. I have, in my TikTok, there is a place in my TikTok, uh, a link tree on my bio. You go to the link tree, there is a Now Chat podcast, episode 28. It tells the whole story, but basically, the short version of it was my wife, uh, Valerie, and I were being tormented by these evil people. And uh, she ended up dying. And um, the cops said it was suicide. I didn't believe it. And I had them come to my place and I trapped one of them. And there was an accidental discharge of my rifle. And the man died. They put me in prison for 20 years. I got out in 2020. I, uh, yes, yes. Uh, who is that? R I L Rylox? Uh, I'm doing fine. Um, TikTok banned me because one of the troll army got in with a name that caused me to get banned. And so, anyway, um, I set down new guidelines that from now on, if anybody comes in with KKK, LGBTQ, or gay, anything in their name, they're to be banned. I don't need that. None of the paper army needs it worldwide. And so that is a new directive that all of the moderators need to know about. Yes, uh, uh, Tyler, they, there are. Uh, no, Bob, I have not. And so anyway, this is what you can do with recycled paper. And my principles are solid. I made this art. I made this hobby. It's just mine. And the people like you that are doing this. Once you learn this, how to make the superstructures and all of the things that I can teach you, you can build anything you want to make. Hi, Finn. Welcome to the show. I hope we will not lose everyone. And so I will put out videos uh, repeatedly about what happened so that people will know. Yes, Mushroom Gal, 
You can do this. <laughs> Hi, Mushroom Gal. <laughs> nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Unknown, <laughs> very much. And, um, okay, uh, you guys, see this, all right? This is the start of a new build. There's only going to be one of these, and it is going to a friend of mine in um, Glasgow. His name is Glasgow Rhino. Now, don't you guys tell him, if you know him, don't tell him this. This is a surprise. He has been supporting me for the past year and a half, almost two years since I started and never wanted anything for his support. I was talking to him a couple of months ago and he said, oh man, I, I don't want anything, but if you ever come off of your Lucille bat, I would like it. And so I got to thinking about it. I think I'm going to make a custom Lucille bat just for him because of his support. His support's been well over, uh, I would say over the long term now, uh, $500 to $1,000. And so I am going to make him a custom uh, piece, signed, dated, and numbered with a letter of authenticity and a thank you. And uh, that's what I'm going to do for him because he's been faithful and uh, helpful. And uh, I think that's something I should do for a fan that is that loyal. Wow. Wow, Bob. That's horrible. Uh, that's a terrible thing. It was a setup from the get-go. Thank you, Mushroom Gal. You bet. Take care. Uh, Mushroom Gal, uh, too? Uh, I guess... Um, you have someone that you would like me to shout out, I can do that. And so anyway, don't you guys go telling Glasgow Rhino that he's getting something. Well, that's okay, Eddie. You know, she might not have heard it. So anyway, those things happen. Have a good day, Mushroom Gal. I hope to see you in one of my shows again. I got banned for saying that gay guy name. That gay guy. Got me banned on TikTok. He's part of the troll army. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, gosh, having to answer all these. So many people are upset and don't understand what's going on. Bob? Howdy, Bob. Nice to see you, Bob. <laughs> I hope that's a good enough shout out for you, brother. <laughs> I 
And hopefully, um, I don't know if there's ability to... <laughs> Do you have any friends hanging out around you, uh, Bob? Because um, they've got to be going, What? It's my phone show. I can shout out anybody that asks because they're cool. Ha ha! <laughs> No worries, Alfie. We'll try and figure out if we can break this ban on TikTok and get me back on the live. No, oh boy, sometimes TikTok is horrible. Thank you, Mushroom Gal, for your subscription. Awesome news. What? Hey, okay, Bob, come on now. We can't be the only friends you got. Have <laughs> you got any friends standing next to you? And, of course, you know I'm joking. I try to make that apparent. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> and I don't know if that works either. But as long as I can keep people smiling and laughing all over the world, it makes this world a better place. Well, Dragon, thank you very much. That's awesome. Um, uh, no, Faye, uh, I'm not. This is my office. Um, paper toys that I've made over many years. Um, those, um, those, uh, I guess those are, what are those? They're not sick. Doggone, I don't know why I can't remember the name of those things. I've seen them for years since I was a kid. I got those at the fair. I won those. Those are ribbons. <laughs> ribbons. Why was that so hard? Come on, brain. <laughs> Anyway, I won those ribbons at three different fairs, and uh, I've got 20 of them now. Thank you, Dragon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, over years. I've been making these paper toys since this very first one I made in 2010. And I've, I've made my art better and better and better until now. I make all kinds of very cool stuff like this... Uh, like this Zeku Gundam, all right? Everything on this Gundam works. The arms and the legs move and the roller blades work. The heels are spring-loaded. There's a hatch so you can see the AI pilot, okay? That's how good you can get building this stuff from recycled paper out of your kitchen. Cheapest hobby on the planet, everybody. Doesn't cost you nothing. You've got two million subscribers, Dragon? What? Oh, congrats. Everybody, congratulate Dragon. That's spectacular, Dragon. Uh, that's absolutely... that. That's... That's stupid cool. <laughs> oh, thank you, Aurora. Thank you, Aurora. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mushroom Gal. But hey... I'm happily married, by the way, just in case you need to know, Honey Bunny's my wife. Um, hi, Honey Bunny. She's on my computer right now. <laughs> wow, Dragon. Thank you. Salute, my friend. Okay, sweetheart. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Dragon. Have you seen my Star Destroyer? Oh, uh, well, uh, Faye, uh, Honey Bunny says I'm 50. Uh, but my actual birth date is November 6, 1953. I will be 70 years old next month. Thank you very much, Dragon. And just in case y'all want to know, I was actually in the Navy during the Vietnam crisis. I was stationed in the Philippines. That's as close as I got to the war. So I never had to go hunt or do any of that kind of stuff. And yeah. 
So, <laughs> yeah, I can salute people because I actually did service time. Okay, uh, let me see. Yeah, you seen the Star Destroyer. Oh, I got one you guys haven't seen. I'll be right back. Okay, if you all are familiar with movies, all right, you will recognize this. This is the jump ship from Elysium. Now, I make mistakes, but I learn from them really well. See the two holes under here? All right, that's because this uh, can land on Earth. And when it's landing on Earth, um, instead of space, these turn down like this. Okay, so that it can be a VTOL. And if anybody wants to know that, that is vertical landing and takeoff. All right. So when it is in the spatial mode, it goes like this. All right. Now, here's where my mistake came in. This here stand was supposed to be in this hole for both positions. And because the stands have to be built into the chassis, this goes inside here. The chassis piece in here was where I started mounting all this in so that I could actually change the position on this. Well, I didn't think about the dynamics of how this goes in and how this goes in and get them to coincide so that the same hole would work for both positions. So I learned something with this build. If I ever do this again, I will get it correct. But anyway, this is the first piece. What, Bert? That's not me. I'm muted. Yeah, I got that. Okay, anyway, these come off and there's a reason for this <laughs> yeah i know i know elaine and, and elaine here's here's the situation with what's going on the troll army has figured out that using uh certain words in uh their names cause people to get banned all right, and I was talking to this gay guy or that gay guy or something, and I got banned. Okay, so now, if anybody comes in with KKK, LGBT, gay, any burn word, they are to be immediately banned. Oh! Faye, actually, Patricia and Faye is my mom and I'm watching. Oh, well, cool, Faye. That's awesome news. Hi, coffee crew. But anyway, I, I learned on the, um, the SR-71 Blackbird that it's really easy when you're building stuff that if you have wings that stick out like this one, as you're building with it and turning it, you can break them off. And so I decided that I was going to build the wings separately so that I would never get this thing broke off in the build process and have to work twice as hard to get it put back. And so I built this so the wings are removable. Okay, because of that part of the build, I also did that with this, uh, with the A-10. The A-10s can come off as well. Now these are tongue depressors. I glued two of them together, sanded them down, and built them into the chassis so that I could remove these wings if I wanted because, say, this needed to get put on a railroad car and freighted to a different part of the planet. Well, you can take the wings off, put them on the rail car next to the fuselage, and off it goes. And that was the thinking behind uh, what I did with this. 
so yeah we don't know i haven't checked it i don't know how long the ban is for let me see i can i can maybe do that we um okay let's get out of here and let's go here and let's see the live october 27th so it's a one week ban So anyway, yeah. Yep. And so anyway, uh, tell everybody uh, that you can, uh, Elaine, that we're on YouTube. And that uh, if anybody wants to see the show, they're going to have to go to YouTube for a while until we figure out how to get this band reversed. Okay, that video. I'll send another video. Huh, jeez. Oh, man. What are you doing? Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, Faye. Um, the hour's almost up. Well, uh, what do you guys think? We've still got people in the show, and um, I don't know what to do. I'm I'm really befuddled by all of this. But anyway, this is another build. Very few people have seen this. This is one of those kind of things that doesn't get shown much. And so anyway. Uh, this was a fun build. I like this one. Okay, I'm back. There we go. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, there's hardly anyone here. All right, everybody. Um, I'm. I'm. I don't know. Yeah, I know, CJ. I understand. What, Bob? When five minutes is up? Well, that would be 105, basically. <laughs> what? Um, I don't know if I'm a good timer, Bob. Honest engine on that. And so, anyway. Wow. I got banned from TikTok, you guys, for seven days. 
because of the troll army. That I'd like to find a troll army in one spot. That'd be kind of cool and just go burp and uh, fix their day. Oh, well, uh, when I read your message, it was 101. It is now 102. So we'll see if I can't keep an eye on the timer. And uh, yeah. I know, CJ. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Okay. 107? Mine says 102. Uh, both my phone and my computer are saying the same thing. Uh, yeah, Luke, I am still going to go live on YouTube. And so it's just going to be one of those kind of things that I'll send uh, videos out on YouTube and let everybody know. Set the timer for five minutes right now. 103, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, uh, 108 will be five minutes exactly. Yep. Okay, Bob, we got this. You know, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. I've heard of Tony Hawk. So, other than that, General, I, I have not heard of that. Okay, Bob. At uh, 108, I'll wave. Sounds like a plan. And General, I'm over here on YouTube right now because TikTok banned me for saying a guy's name. And that it's a troll army trick. They put gay in the name. And because of that, it got banned. Uh, yes, uh, General, I am uh, on November 6th. Uh, I will be 70. Now, my mind says I'm 20. My body says I'm 70. <laughs> and that's my age. But everything else I do is like I'm 50 years old. And so I should probably live at least at least another 50 years. Maybe more. And so, with that being said, yeah, I, I know, Grant, it is. It, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, you just turned 16? Well, I'll give you some advice, young man. And uh, I hope you're a guy. Uh, pretty sure you are. Anyway, um, but it doesn't matter. Never stop learning, Grant. I was in the Navy. 28 November, CJ? <laughs> That's cool. November 20th. We're scorpions. Nice. Anyway, uh, Grant, uh, when I was 24 years old, an old man when I was in the Navy told me, young man, never stop learning. Oh, okay, Grant. That's cool. Yeah? Awesome sauce. Because it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are, what you are, what color you are, or what religion you are. It don't matter. You're all human beings in the human race. And that's what we believe. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, I understand the acronym part of LGBTQ. Oh, that's cool, Grant. Yeah. I, uh, I enlisted in the Navy uh, during Vietnam. <clears throat> and I, was, uh, I worked survival equipment. Parachutes, liquid oxygen, ejection seats, flotation gear, uh, survival suits. That, that was all stuff I worked with. All right, Luke. 
Oh, no. No, tomorrow's Saturday, Luke. Um, I, I won't be back live until Monday. So, thank you, Luke. But uh, I'll be back at Monday. So, uh, one hour ahead of where you are now. And you know that. So, anyway. Well, you guys, darn. This is really, it it's really stinks. Oh, boy. TikTok, you let the troll army do horrible things to people. Well, um, I don't know if it's not hate speech. It had to be the way it was said. That's the only thing I said that could have been done. And so, hate speech or not, there's nothing else that could have been done. All right, Luke. The only thing you said was high gay thing. That was the only words that came out of your mouth. And not even two seconds later before you could say hi to somebody else that's on the chat. We got banned it. So... No idea whatsoever. <laughs> but we're going to appeal it and see how it goes. Yeah. Well, uh, let's let's do a little bit of calculations, uh, Grant. Um, there's usually only one or two average of two doors per house. There's only average of one door in apartment buildings. And most major buildings high-rises included have a door on each office or the entry points so when you think about how many cars airplanes tanks uh, bicycles that there are in the world I would have to say that there are more wheels in the world than there are doors Say a car, okay, I was born in 1953. This is a car thing. In 1953, when I was born, so was the Corvette. I have been in love with Corvette cars since I was a kid. And so my car of choice would be a Corvette. I don't have one. <laughs> I have a Pontiac, a 1997 Pontiac Grand Am GT which is a fun little car. I like it a lot. But it is definitely not a Corvette. I hope that answered your question, Starshine. Okay. What am I going to do? Oh, this is, sucks so bad that TikTok did this. That's a good point, Grant. I never thought of it that way. Hmm. Yeah, because most every car has two doors and only four wheels. But uh, look at all the wheels that are on trolley systems. And look at all the wheels like Amazon has on their... They have their conveyor belts, all right? The conveyor belts, the stuff goes down and there's, there's like eight wheels right after each other for miles. And so if you think about that in another aspect, every single gearbox has wheels in it. Every single drive line has bearings, which are wheels that roll on wheels. And so if we get down to the nitpicky things, I still believe that there are more wheels than there are doors. Hey, Cedra. Grandma's here. Yeah. Yes, but there's there's wheels in washing machines that hold the drums in place as they spin. Same with dryers. So when you start thinking about the wheels that drive the world, everything that is a gear is a wheel with teeth on it.
Well, people have valves that open and close, but that's not a door. That's different. Yes, but when you're talking about wheels, there are uh, just in Amazon alone, all right, all of the conveyors that stuff roll down have literally tens of thousands of wheels on them, which outnumber the doors. And you're talking about wheels drive the world, okay? This little Dremel has bearings inside it, all right? And it has gears that drive this, all right? The motor itself is set in a bearing housing that is a wheel, all right? There's literally billions of machine parts that are wheels. And you don't have that many doors and stuff. Doors are an access point. Wheels drive the world. If you, original, if you remember, the original game man built the wheel for a really reason. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm saying that because I work at Amazon. In order for you to get your packages... I have to depend on those wheels and those belts to get your product to me so I can pack it and ship it out. Well, paper engineer, a gear is a wheel. All right? It's round and it spins around. It is a type of a wheel. And so it doesn't matter that it has teeth on it. It still spins because he started using uh, things like um, CD doors and things like that. And doors on your cabinets, in your kitchen, etc. So once we include all of the types of doors there are, then we have to include all of the types of wheels that there are also. And um, bearings, you know. Every piece of machinery in the world has bearings in it. Those are wheels. And actually, there's two wheels in every bearing. You have the outside of the bearing, you have the bearing chase in the middle, and then you have the centerpiece that whatever fits on it. And that is a bear, that's a wheel also. And so, uh, what Tupperware? What the, what the heck is Tupperware? It has a, it has a lid on it. Uh, yeah, CJ, absolutely. Yes, but the doors, here's the thing, Grant. Have you ever seen, I have seen it, the mechanism that the doors roll on, they roll on wheels and they have wheels inside the door to keep the door going in and out straight. And so I would say probably two, four, city. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's ten wheels in every single half door of an elevator. So if you take both doors together, you got 20 wheels inside those doors, which well outweigh the two doors that the elevators go on. Now, when you go into it further, you've got pulleys on the elevator that the cables go through. You have four pulleys at the bottom, four pulleys at the top, sometimes only three. All right, so now you have four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight wheels that allow the elevator to be pulled up and down. And that is well more than the two doors that the elevators go on. <laughs> well, thank you, CJ, for correcting that. Hi, dear. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Grant. Uh, and it's it was a fun debate. I enjoyed that. <laughs> that was really a, uh, that was really fun. And so, wheels and, and there's an old term: wheels make the world go round. Okay, that was coined many, 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 many years before I was born. And so, it is really true. Without wheels, Earth would stop working. That would be bad. Yes, Grant, but you still, you have no competition with that. Do you know that the windows open and close on little nylon wheels 
to roll them back and forth. Oh no, I, I'm I'm only going on clapper in the evenings, Kitty. Still doesn't matter. <laughs> Their wheels outweigh doors and windows by a huge amount because it's one of those kind of things that in the cars you have got a tire and a wheel okay the wheel is what makes it go around there's a bearing in that wheel housing the disc brakes are also a wheel they spin with it they have calipers on the brakes next you have the bearings that are in the engine huh and it goes on and on and on uh, so it's one of those kind of things yeah. Uh, hi, Death. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. It is, Grant. And if you would like to do a thesis on that as you get older, you have to start researching everything that's round that rolls like, like a wheel or a tire and how many different kinds of wheels there are. Okay, here's one for you. Let me show you something here if I can find it. Hopefully I can find it. I can't find it. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Okay. This is dental floss. All right. Now, when you open this thing up, all right, inside it, all right, the dental floss is wound up around these two wheels. There might be a billion of these little dental floss things on the planet, which makes two billion of these wheels. Okay, so doors and, and windows and stuff, they're a finite amount. Wheels, on the other hand, are not because they're used in everyday things everywhere. <laughs> That's cool, Grant. <laughs> Um, okay. Amy Lee? Amy Lee, my birthday is November 6th, midnight. I would say so, Grant. It's one of those kind of things that's like, oh my goodness sakes. Good question, though. It really is. And I appreciate uh, the conversation. Well, thank you, Amy. Uh, do you prefer Amy Lee or is Amy uh, fine? Well, everybody, our crazy channel, thank you very much. I will be back live here on YouTube tomorrow at noon. That's about an hour and a half ahead of where you are right now. I've got to go. There's some stuff that I have got to try and fix with TikTok. And I don't know if I can. Uh, but anyway, it's one of those things that I have to try and do. So hopefully, you guys, uh, TikTok will reverse the ban that they put me on for seven days. Because we had just gone viral last week. And that is insane bad. Uh, insane bad for what they did. And so, anyway, I'm usually on till 10. Please stay. Okay, crazy channel. All right, you guys, I got to stay till 2 o'clock, uh, 2 p.m. my time. Uh, that lets crazy channel uh, get to listen and uh, have a, a better part of their day. So, I'm going to stick around for another uh, 40 minutes. And I'll do that, crazy channel. Thank you. And so hopefully, you know, we can, because there's only three people in the show. Uh, I would like, um, uh, if we can get more people, it'll make it better to stay. But otherwise, it makes it tough, Crazy Channel. Because with only three people in here, um, nah, 
it makes it tough to continue uh, talking because there's not enough to do. Smash the likes. Well, um, I don't know how to smash the likes. <laughs> I hope you can. And teach the other two people that are in here how to do that, which I think is Honey Bunny and Bert. <laughs> Because I think Amy Lee had to go. And uh, I don't know if Grant is still here. Now there's only two people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, smash the likes button. Yeah. Oh, Liam's there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. <laughs> I asked Crazy Channel. This is, uh, I'm working on the A10. This is something I'm building right now. And um, as you can see, it's made out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. It's what I build uh, everything with. But you can make all kinds of stuff. Uh, the Tantive uh, from Star Wars. Or maybe a Star Destroyer. And the Micro Machines are the things to build. Because they teach you how the paper works. And it doesn't matter if you mess one up. It, they're easier to fix. They're a Micro Machine. And so... Um, and the paint is acrylic paint. Makes it easy to work with. Um, this ship... In, in Star Wars is a, a fire spray. And so, yeah, absolutely, it's all I build with. This is some sanded paper that I'm ready to build with right here. Um, it's free. Uh, your paper comes in your kitchen for free. You need some uh, school glue, Elmer's or PVA if you're in Europe. I This is all I've ever built with. Been building with this stuff since 2010. And you need acrylic paint. And so, and you can build uh, some insane stuff. This is a tie crawler. Uh, in the 1986 Encyclopedia of Star Wars, this was only a drawing. I didn't even know what it looked like back here. So to make it stronger, uh, I built it like uh, Darth Vader's experimental tie fighter, which is nice. Uh, Crazy Channel, have you looked at any of my videos here on YouTube? Oh, that's amazing. Uh, welcome to the show from England. That's cool. Oh, thank you, Plastic. And once you get good at what I do on YouTube, once you learn my principles, you can build anything. This is a, a, a micro, a, a super deformed Zeku Gundam. All right, once you do this, you, you can make anything. It doesn't matter what it is. All right. You can make bugs if you want to. <laughs> okay, you guys. I guess likes helps people uh, find you on YouTube. So if you all can start uh, uh, punching the likes out and, and getting them going, that might help and bring more people in. I know you're cool too, Liam. <laughs> you're on my show. Uh, yes, absolutely, uh, Crazy Channel. It doesn't matter what you want to build. Once you learn my principles of this, you can build anything you want. Well, <laughs> we lost three of the six. <laughs> Hi, Much Madness. Welcome to the show. I build all kinds of cool toys and I teach you how to do it right here on YouTube. It's it's fantastic what you can do. You know, I even I even teach people how to make a ball in case they want to make tie fighter cockpits. Very cool how to do this. Oh, madness, it's your first time here. Well, welcome. I am the paper engineer. And I teach people how to build paper toys from recycled paper out of your kitchen.
Oh, good. Um, check out my videos here on uh, YouTube. That's the best way to do it. Well, sweetheart, there's nothing there's nothing we can do. And so, um, I might as well keep these folks on YouTube invested and uh, doing likes and learning this because um, it's also part of the part of the business too. Because I don't think there's anything we can do other than put the appeal into TikTok. And so, but please, whatever you do, um, if you pick this hobby up, hi VR, welcome to the show. If you pick this up, what you have to do is do the micro machines first, okay? Because you have to learn how the paper reacts. There's a lot of different things you have to learn how to do to be able to start making stuff. Like rolling up these little paper tubes to make these engines. All right. It's one of those kind of things that it takes practice and talking with me here. Um, VR, I have uh, tutorials here on uh, YouTube. You can go to those tutorials and start learning how to do this because the uh, your um, what you need to build with you have in your kitchen. Yeah, sweetheart, I, I, I understand. I've been on for an hour and a half. And so, um, this is the stuff. It, I get all my building materials absolutely free. You need Elmer's glue, PVA glue in Europe, and acrylic paint. You need some good scissors, because that's important, and a good ruler. I suggest a six-inch machinist rule, because as long as you're making uh, micro-machines, like these, this is some of my biggest micro machines. It's only four inches. Hi, Debbie. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. And uh, you guys, if you can crush the likes and we can get some more people in here, uh, Honey Bunny won't be. Uh, <laughs> well, she'll be more happy, you guys. But anyway, all of this stuff I build with is recycled paper. Because. Uh, it's an economical hobby to do. Uh, my biggest stuff, and you have to sand the paint, you guys. You have to. Otherwise, the glue won't stick good enough to hold stuff. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Clone VPN. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't have Palatine's voice. <laughs> I wish I could, VPN. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I've got some uh, models that are uh, very large. All right, because uh, you, if you're going to build things uh, accurate to like a video, I mean, not videos, but movies and stuff, you need to be able to build larger pieces. Uh, basically... <laughs> I have not heard of Darth Plagueis's the wise's demise. That's the best I can do. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. This is one of the few pieces that I actually used cardboard on the inside of. All right. And making these hinges is also on my YouTube. And so... Huh, I didn't know that. <laughs> An evil VPN. What does a VPN actually stand for, or what does it do? And so, this is one of those amazing things that you can build out of recycled paper out of your kitchen. Some time, paper, um, 
you know, it, it's, uh, <laughs> it takes a little bit of ingenuity and, uh, and you can build some really, 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 really cool toys. Uh-oh. Come on now. Uh, what am I at? 77%? Okay. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Sweet. Hi. Are you going to stay on for very much longer? Because I need to get on your account so I can send another letter. Um, so can't you just can, can't you just uh, send it to me and I'll give you the code so you can get in there? Yeah. Uh, okay. And I think we should, you know. Be working on getting you back on TikTok, where you I'm have. I'm gonna second that. I'm gonna second that. Okay. I um, you guys, uh, I would love to stay and visit, but um, both Bert and and my wife uh, have a good point. We have to try and figure out how to beat TikTok on this ban, because. We were viral last week, and this week was looking like it was going to be viral too. And now I'm banned for seven days. So, anyway, I would love to stay, but I absolutely can't. I'm sorry, uh, Crazy Channel, but I have got to say good day. I'll be back tomorrow, though. So, bye, everyone. And remember, it doesn't matter what you are where you are, who you are, what color you are, what religion you are. We're human beings on this planet, the third rock from the sun. We need to be the human race. Uh, oh, short YouTube shorts give more interaction with the viewers than TikTok, so don't uh, worry. Okay, VPN, thank you. Um, <clears throat> I will be back tomorrow at noon Pacific Standard Time, and I'd love more help with this uh, YouTube. Because if we can make this uh, YouTube start to be profitable like TikTok has been, um, then I can get out of TikTok. But until then, I have to go back to TikTok. It's the only way I can make my rent money. I know, there, I know, uh, but there was 1,200 people on TikTok yesterday. And so it's one of those kind of things where there's five people versus 1,200 is no competition. We have to try and get TikTok back up and running. So thank you all for watching. I'm not Jane. I got banned by TikTok, and we were viral. I had uh, 50,000 people on the show yesterday, and now I'm banned. And so um, we got to try and figure this out. And so that means sending emails to TikTok and trying to figure it out. So, I'm sorry, Jan, but I have got to go, you guys. It's not one of those kind of things where I can stay. If there was 100 people here on YouTube, then I could stay. But there's not. And, and so... That's uh, all right, VPN. Salute. We have uh, many, many people. Oh, you're Giselle? Well, well thank you, Giselle. And uh, unfortunately, I've got to go, you guys. You're British as well? <laughs> uh, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Almost 50% of the people that are in the show right now are from England. Uh, or they're British. And they might not be from England. <laughs> you bet. Thank you very much. You guys, take care. I have got to go. Uh, I will see you tomorrow at noon Pacific Standard Time. Have a good night or a good day.